Have you ever done this before? Hey everyone, my name is Sam and I'm an average Joe Lawnut. So as I showed you, it's that time of year again where the top dress bags go all over the lawn and it's time to spread it. I do this a couple of times a year. I spread the bags and then start opening them up and roughly spreading out the top dress where I want it. And it's always very time consuming and it's always very boring. Especially if you do it like I do. I mean, I'm pretty pedantic when it comes to this stuff. I want to spread it evenly, a thin layer, and I don't want an any of the debris that's in the bags. That's why I am super excited this year since I got one of these. A Lanzi, a compost spreader. And I'm super excited. I mean, Garden Import sent me this one to try, but I've seen tons of videos of people using it and I always, always wanted one. And for this year, I actually thought I would try it out and see if it will save me time and give me better results. So my idea is I'm gonna do one section manually, like I normally would do it, and show you guys how long it takes and normally how I spread top dress. And then on another section, I will use the same amount of bags, but I'll use the Lanzi and see how much time it actually will save. Because normally doing my entire lawn manually, that would take me a couple of hours. So let's do one section manually and one with the Lanzi and compare the results and how, how long it takes. I mean, I've never used this thing. I've only seen videos of it, but I'm super excited to see how it works. So I'll try to do it my normal way, manually in this area with these three bags. And then I'll use the Lanzi for these three bags. And then we can compare how long this took and how long this took and then compare the results. And by the way, this is how my lawn looks after a really harsh winter. It's all patchy and some areas just won't grow back. I need to reseed those. I'll start a timer and do these manually the, the way I normally would do them any year. And we'll see how long it takes. Starting it now. Now I normally just take the back of a rake and start spreading it around evenly. All right, so I'm done spreading it around and it's right about now I'm starting to think, why didn't I do this with just two bags? Why did I have to use three? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I could have just used two. What I normally would do now is just take the leveling rake and start spreading it and avoid having any kind of areas with too much soil on them because I don't want to cover the grass. Uh, I'm not in the best of shapes apparently. Now, I would normally go around taking away all this debris. I mean, there's stones, sticks, all kinds of debris in there. And if you reel more, you really don't want all this stuff in the lawn because they will get stuck in the reels and they might damage them. I'll just leave it for now. I'm still going to use the brush for areas with, where there's just too much soil. So even after the leveling rake is done, I still want to use the brush for, for certain areas. All right, I'm done with the manual way of doing it and it took me about 16 minutes, 16, 20. So this is the way I would normally do it. I mean, I even cheated now a bit. I haven't gone around taking away all the debris. Three bags, roughly 16 minutes. And normally I would have about 20, 30 bags to go. So, I mean, that takes a while, but let's have a look at the results and see how it looks. I mean, it looks decent. Especially if you use the brush, you don't have too many areas with too much top dress gathered. But the part that annoys me the most is this. I mean, look at this at the end. This is all just debris. I mean, it will decay over time. But again, if you use a reel mower, this is going to get stuck in the reels. I really don't like this stuff in the lawn. So normally I would kind of do a rough raking and take away not all the debris, but I mean, as much as I can. I would never leave it like this. All right, so three bags and 16 minutes later, this is what I covered, the way I do it. This might not be the way you do it, but this is how I do it. <laughs> and this is not top dressing for the purpose of leveling or anything like that. This is mostly just to add some nutrients and some new life into the soil. 
So I do this a couple of times a year. So now it's time to use the Lanzi, and this is the 24 inch. There is a bigger one, but I mean, if you have a lawn as big as mine, roughly around 2,000 square feet or smaller, I don't think you need the bigger one. But if you have a big lawn, I would recommend you to get the bigger one. But this is perfect for a mid-sized lawn like mine. And there's no assembly needed. It, it just comes like this. You open the latches. The handle is inside the unit. Just take it out. Take off the protective covers. And then you just put the handle on like this. And you're good to go. There's nothing more to it. I've been wanting to buy one of these forever. Since the first time I saw, I think Ryan Orr use it. I've been wanting to try one of these. And I'm super thankful that Garden Imports sent me one. Don't tell them, but I would have probably gotten one anyways this year. <laughs> All right, so let's use the Lanzi for these three bags. And then we can compare the results and see how long this took. I'll restart the timer. I'll start now and let's see how long it takes. All right, so these bags are roughly 40 liters. So I think I might be able to get two of these in. It's not quite both the bags. I mean, you could probably just force it in there, but I mean, there's no need. So I think right now it's about 70 liters. Then we're good to go. Now you might be wondering why isn't he just moving this further away? That's just because I'm stupid. <laughs> so that took me about nine minutes. Now let's just compare the results and see how it looks. So it's not exactly half the time, but almost half the time spent. All right, so this is the area I did manually, the way I would normally do it. And this is with the Lanzi. I mean, it covers almost twice the area of this with the same amount of bags. And this is kind of what, how I want it. I mean, top dressing for this purpose is about getting a thin, nice layer without debris on the lawn, just to add some nutrients and life to the soil. I actually ran out of space here, so I had to go all the way over here. The top dress you have lasts quite a bit longer, <laughs> so you won't need to use as many bags as you normally would. Now, you might argue that I didn't do this properly or anything like that, but I mean, this is how I normally would do it, exactly like this. And this is how far three bags of top dress reached for me. Almost half the time, cover twice the area. Now, if you would want to add some more top dress, I mean, you just do a double pass. And the best thing is that I don't need to brush this in. It's such a nice thin layer. I don't need to do anything with it. I'm done. All right, so this is what I ended up with in the Lanzi. So this is all the debris that is left. I mean, look at this. Since this is three bags, just the same as I used over here. So I mean, all this is in the lawn right now where I did it the way I normally would. And I mean, I don't want this in the lawn. Now you might say this will decay, so it's fine. doesn't matter. And I mean, that's true enough. But I mean, I don't want these hard things getting stuck in the reels of the reel mower. I mean, that's why I have to do backlapping all the time. I get stones and sticks getting stuck in the reels, kind of damaging it. And if, if there were any negative thing I would say about this thing is the handle. The handle works good for me, but I mean, if I were a little bit taller, I would maybe want the handle to be longer, or if you're shorter, maybe you want the handle to be shorter. And exactly the same deal as the Gardena manual reel mower. I mean, if you're doing a handle like this, why not make it adjustable? Uh, I, I just don't get it. I don't know, maybe it's hard to kind of build that. I, I have no idea, but that's the one thing I would say. I would have wished that you could make the handle longer or shorter. That's the only thing. Other than that, I mean, this is exactly what I thought it would be. Since I've seen all the reviews on YouTube, other people using it, I kind of imagine it to be this good. <laughs> but I, I'm pretty excited that I've tried it out for myself now and actually confirmed that it is all the things people say it is. I, I am definitely going to use this as much as I possibly can because it does make top dressing so much easier, especially if you do any 
kind of overseeding every year. You want to have a nice layer of top dress or soil on top of the seeds. I mean, this will make it so much easier. Is the Lanzi worth it? There's no denying that the Lanzi is pricey, but I mean, for me at least, it's the same deal as with the Gardena leaf and grass collector. That one is also kind of pricey. The things I spend money on when it comes to lawn care equipment, it's mostly about saving time for me. I mean, I have a normal nine to five job like anyone else. So during the weeks, coming home and having spent two, three hours on getting top dress out, I mean, I'm just not doing it. I'm, I'm exhausted by then. So that leaves the weekends. Don't get me wrong, I love lawn care, but I don't want to dedicate my life to it. I mean, th there is other stuff I want to do during the weekends. I just don't want to get stuck in the lawn for a couple of hours every time I want to get top dress out. And normally when it comes to top dress, I usually push things for a couple of weekends because I just know how long it will take. <laughs> I always end up putting top dress out maybe a week or two later than I had originally planned. So for me, it's all about time. I mean, what is your time worth? And I mean, for me, the bonus is that I'm getting a far better result with it as well. That's just an added bonus for me. Primarily, I would get this thing just to save time. Because, I mean, I value my time more than anything else. So even though it is pricey, I would still get one. Maybe you want to share it with your neighbors. Get one together and then you can use it both and share the cost. I mean, usually that's how I decide which equipment to get or not to get. It has to save me time. It has to give me better results. I mean, not always. <laughs> Some things you buy just because they look cool or just because you want them. <laughs> <laughs> but primarily it's for saving time and better results and this does both right, so I'll put a link in the description below for one of these as I said buy one with your neighbors or something like that and share it and that's it for today I hope you enjoyed the video and found some value in it and I'll see you in the next one